Hi, I'm Kristen. I've traveled to 63 countries, and in this video, I'm sharing with you my top 40 most amazing places to visit in the world. As you watch, comment below if you've been to any of these places and which destinations you're adding to your bucket list. Let's go. Housed in St. Petersburg's Winter Palace, the former residence of the Romanov Tsars, the Hermitage Museum in Russia has the largest art collection in the world. Founded by Catherine the Great in 1764, it contains 3 million artifacts, with many dating back to the Stone Age. Its famous gold room contains 1,500 of the world's most precious gold pieces from Eurasia, the Black Sea Littoral, and the Orient. Access to visit the Gold Room is usually by appointment only, which you can book in advance with a museum curator or a tour provider. If you go, make sure to see the 250-year-old peacock clock in Pavilion Hall, which springs to life every Wednesday at 8 p.m. sharp. Taipei, the vibrant capital city of Taiwan, offers a wealth of reasons to visit. Taipei is home to iconic landmarks such as the Taipei 101 skyscraper, one of the tallest buildings in the world. A fascinating blend of modernity and history, you can also visit historical sites there such as Longshan Temple and the National Palace Museum, which houses an extensive collection of Chinese art and artifacts. By night, Taipei is famous for its lively night markets, such as Xilin and Rao Street Night Markets. There, you can sample a variety of delicious street food, shop for souvenirs, or just immerse yourself in the energetic atmosphere. Foods to try include stinky tofu, bubble tea, and beef noodle soup. But Taiwan is especially famous for all the different dumplings you can sample. Taipei is also known for its shopping and nightlife, with countless shopping districts, bars, and clubs. Check out the trendy fashion boutiques in Ximending, then go out for a night on the town in the Jinyi district or the hipster enclave of Don. When you're ready to escape the city, Taipei is surrounded by natural beauty. Take a day trip to the Yangmingshan National Park to enjoy hiking trails, hot springs, and scenic vistas. Or visit Bay 2, which is also known for its hot springs and therapeutic baths. Before departing, visit the historical town of Jiufen to explore its beautiful tea houses. On a dirt road in the Manabe region of western Madagascar, you'll find rows of 20 to 25 huge, rare, and majestic baobab trees. Named Baobab Alley, it has been so loved by visitors that it's become the country's first natural monument. These trees hold deep cultural and spiritual significance. They are often considered sacred and are believed to possess mystical powers. Madagascar is the most accessible place in Africa to visit these trees. The best time to go is at sunset or sunrise to witness the trunks changing their color and see their shadows on the road. It's an off the beaten path experience giving you a chance to explore a lesser known part of the world while connecting with nature and the local culture. Singapore is a must on any traveler's bucket list. A melting pot of diverse cultures, you can find Chinese, Malay, Indian, and Western influences here. This modern city and island country is a sight to behold with its stunning architecture that you can see in places like Marina Bay Sands, Gardens by the Bay with the tallest indoor waterfall in the world, and the futuristic super trees. It's also a haven for food lovers filled with Michelin star restaurants but also markets and local haunts. Make sure to try local specialties like Hyannese chicken rice, laksa, chili crab, and roti prata. Singapore is also known for its well-maintained gardens, parks, and green spaces. Explore the stunning botanical gardens there and the tranquil McRitchie Park. 
It's also a shopper's paradise, of course, offering everything from luxury brands on Orchard Road to street markets in Chinatown and Little India. Singapore is a safe and welcoming place for travelers, but although there's plenty of air conditioning, it can be hot. The coolest time to visit is from December to February. Iguazu Falls, near the Brazilian border with Argentina, is the largest waterfall system in the world and one of the seven natural wonders of the world. Spanning a breathtaking 1.7 miles in diameter with a height of 80 meters, Iguazu Falls is three times as wide and twice as tall as Niagara, with 275 different falling points. Iguazu is home to 2,000 species of plants and much of the diverse wildlife of the region, including giant anteaters, howler monkeys, ocelots, jaguars, and caimans. If you go, try to walk the path to the Devil's Throat Waterfall on foot instead of using the shuttle so that you can see some of that wildlife along the way. And make sure to admire the falls from both sides of the border, both Argentina and Brazil. Due to its remote location, flying is the best way to get there. It's 90 minutes from Buenos Aires. On the outskirts of Kyoto, Japan and the Arashiyama district, you'll find a peaceful bamboo corridor, also known as the Bamboo Forest. Walking through here seems otherworldly because the type of bamboo that grows here is huge, moso bamboo, that can grow as high as 28 meters or eight and a half stories in height. During the day, streams of sunlight squeeze in through the densely packed grove and illuminate the walking trails, but get there early as it's the most photographed spot in Kyoto and it can get crowded. While you're there, also visit the Arashiyama Monkey Park where you can see and feed the monkeys up close and personal. I also recommend taking a ride in one of the traditional boats that you'll find in the Katsura River. You can visit Kyoto at any time of year, but the spring and fall are particularly beautiful to see the cherry blossoms or changing of the leaves. If you've never been on a safari, you must visit Tanzania, home of the Serengeti National Park. Although pricey from $300 to more than $700 per day, it's worth it to see and hear animals in their natural habitat on the African savanna. The 5,700 square mile park is home to elephants, hippos, giraffes, zebras, and more than 2,000 lions. The best times to visit are from January to February or June to September, but you can also go around the annual Great Migration, which lasts from September to June and is one of the largest animal migrations on the planet. And there's plenty more to do and see in Tanzania, of course, such as getting to know the local Maasai people, visiting the Red Lake Natron, the beaches of the Zanzibar Archipelago, or trekking up Mount Kilimanjaro, the tallest mountain in Africa. A global financial hub that's filled with historic charm and natural beauty, Zurich, Switzerland is a captivating destination. In Zurich, you can take part in the largest techno street party in Europe, the Street Parade, which takes place every August. Taste authentic Swiss chocolate and see the largest church clock face in Europe. Zurich is also home to the No Show Museum, a museum about nothing, and it's a stone's throw from Lake Zurich and the Swiss Alps. Getting around Zurich isn't a problem with the city's efficient public transportation system, and you can rest easy knowing that it's one of the safest and cleanest cities in the world, complete with 1,200 water fountains. For hiking, visit Zurich in the spring or summer, and for skiing, the season extends from November to April. 
If you go, make sure to sip a cocktail at the Jules Verne Panorama Bar to soak up the city's best views. Bruges, Belgium is a fairy tale destination with more castles per square kilometer than anywhere else in the world. With 3,000 castles throughout Belgium, 50 of them are in this small northern village. Bruges is known for making the world's most luxurious laces, but it's also famous for being one of the most well-preserved medieval cities, as it escaped bombing in both the First and Second World Wars. To call it picturesque would be an understatement. Imagine watching swans float through canals while you sip on a crisp Belgian beer and munch on fritz from one of the 80 bridges throughout the city. Before you leave, make sure to climb up the 366 steps of the Belfry Tower to get the best views of the surrounding landscape and get up early to visit the outdoor market in the town square. There's also plenty of art and history museums and chocolate shops around to explore. Bruges is only one hour from Brussels by train or three hours from Amsterdam. Krakow is Poland's historic capital and one of the oldest and best preserved cities in the country. Along the banks of the Vistula River, called the Queen of Polish Rivers, you'll find the Royal Wawel Castle, also known as the Spiritual Heart of Poland. I love walking, running, or biking along this river, but it's also a nice place to sit and people watch or take out a boat or kayak. The historic center of Krakow's famous old town is full of bustling shops, markets, and restaurants, as well as churches, museums, synagogues, and art galleries. A perfect place to spend the day sampling local delicacies like pierogi, kielbasa, and beer, or shopping for amber, the native gemstone of Poland. By night, Krakow's old town is known for its great nightlife as well, but outside, there's much more to explore, including the Rynek Underground Museum and the Wielska Salt Mine. A somber yet important World Heritage Site, the Auschwitz-Birkenau Concentration Camp, is also nearby. While in Krakow, I also recommend visit the Kazimierz Jewish District and the Holocaust Memorial to learn more about the history of the area. If you go, make sure to walk across the Bernatek footbridge at night for the lights, views, and unique art sculptures hanging from the wires. Bosnia and Herzegovina is a lesser known gem of Europe where you can enjoy stunning landscapes, ancient history, and warm local hospitality, all for a much more affordable price than you would find in Western Europe. Located in the Balkans, Bosnia and Herzegovina is a diverse and secular country with a long history of religious tolerance, where Muslims, Catholics, Jews, and Orthodox Christians coexist in peace. There, you'll find influences from the Ottoman and Austro-Hungarian empires, as well as the Yugoslav era. The country is filled with natural beauty, notably the Plitvis Lakes National Park, the Emerald Green Una River, and the Dinaric Alps. Start your trip in the picturesque city of Mostar, where you can stroll through outdoor markets, shops, and restaurants, and watch the courageous and daring locals jump from the top of Starry Most Bridge. Then, travel to the capital city of Sarajevo, a melting pot where East meets West, with a fascinating mix of cultures, religions, and architectural styles. An important site to visit is the War Childhood Museum, the world's only museum focused exclusively on how war affects children. It's become an international platform to help give a voice to children worldwide who have been impacted by war. You may also want to see the Colina Kappa Astronomical Observatory, the haunting ruins of a former military fortress built on Mont Trebevic. 
While it was largely destroyed during the Bosnian War of the 1990s, its remains still stand today. Uzbekistan is the most visited country among the five stands of Central Asia, an enormous region that stretches from Russia in the north to China in the east to the Caspian Sea in the west, which also happens to be the world's largest inland body of water. Once in Uzbekistan, you'll want to visit the many ancient cities and bazaars that were once important stops along the Silk Road. Kiva, a desert oasis dating back at least 1500 years, is the Silk Road's crown jewel. You'll feel like you're stepping back in time among the narrow cobblestone streets, ancient city walls, and stone palaces. In Kiva, you can visit the Silk Carpet Workshop, where local women artisans make handwoven pillowcases, scarves, and of course, carpets. Also make sure to visit Bukhara, which is among the oldest cities in Central Asia, and Samarkand, one of the most beautiful cities in the stands. Samarkand is a UNESCO World Heritage Site whose turquoise and blue tiled mosques and mausoleums reportedly inspired the Taj Mahal. While in Uzbekistan, you'll have plenty of delicacies to eat, such as hearty broths and meat grills, fresh salads, pastries, and plov, a traditional dish of vegetables, rice, quail eggs, and meat that you can enjoy for any meal. From Uzbekistan, you can also visit Tajikistan, Kazakhstan, Kyrgyzstan, and Turkmenistan, vast countries, each with their own unique cultures, people, and landscapes. Kazakhstan itself is the world's largest landlocked country, bigger than all of Western Europe. On the west coast of Puerto Rico lies Rincon, a tiny beach town that's attracted visitors from around the world for its perfect waves, pretty beaches, and relaxed lifestyle. From January to March, it's one of the best places in Puerto Rico for whale watching and surfing. But year-round, you can enjoy the idyllic atmosphere, stunning sunsets, and eclectic local culture. Some of the best beaches in the area include domes, steps, and sandy beach. And if you go offshore, it's a great place for fishing, diving, and snorkeling. What I love most about Rincon is its small town community vibe. There aren't any giant resorts here, just guest houses, boutique hotels, and vacation rentals. Rincon is a must visit destination and an ideal jumping off point to explore the rest of Puerto Rico, from Aguadilla to Old San Juan. On a day off, go for a hike to one of the local waterfalls or take a day trip to one of Puerto Rico's bioluminescent bays which glow at night. Heading north from the Caribbean to the Arctic, you'll find one of my favorite corners of Iceland, Akureyri. This charmingly unique town is known as the capital of the north for being just 100 kilometers from the Arctic Circle. If you're looking for an authentic Icelandic experience away from the Ring of Fire, this area is for you. Rather than tourists, you'll be surrounded by snow-capped mountains, giant fjords, and crystal clear water. And in addition to the breathtaking scenery, Akureyri also has its fair share of restaurants, museums, art galleries, and boutiques, also making it a cultural capital of Iceland. In the winter, you can go skiing or snowboarding here, and you have a really good chance of seeing the Northern Lights, and in the summer, you can go horseback riding, hiking, or attend events such as the Summer Arts Festival and the International Music Festival. Of course, no trip to Iceland is complete without exploring the wild nature around you. And in Akureyri, you can visit the Goafoss Waterfall, the Forest Lagoon Hot Springs, and hike Iceland's longest fjord. From the Arctic to the desert, Las Vegas is one of a kind and somewhere you have to visit in your lifetime. The entertainment capital of the world, Sin City, is home to at least 60 casinos and 150,000 hotel rooms. 
The most popular, of course, are on the Vegas Strip, where you can experience the Paris Casino, the Bellagio, the Wynn, the MGM Grand, and Caesars Palace. But if gambling isn't your thing, don't worry, as Vegas is full of shopping, restaurants, spas, and shows. From Cirque du Soleil to music, comedy acts, world-class sporting events, and magic, there's something for everyone. Partygoers can't miss seeing a famous DJ at one of the day clubs, like Encore Beach Club, or mega clubs at night, from Excess to Marquee to Hakkasan. And don't miss the new Sphere, an entertainment venue slated to be the largest spherical structure in the world. Before you leave, make sure to see the famous Bellagio fountains and spend a day in tonight exploring Fremont Street in downtown. I especially liked visiting the Mob Museum, which is a fascinating window into how Vegas was formed and its history of organized crime. But remember, there's plenty to do and see away from the Strip, from hiking in Red Rock to visiting the Grand Canyon. The Maldives Islands in the Indian Ocean is a place of bucket list dreams filled with powdery white sand, swaying palm trees, and crystal clear water. But one place specifically, Vadu Island, stands out. Why? It's Sea of Stars. The Sea of Stars is one of the few places in the world where you can walk along a glowing shoreline or swim in glowing water. Like something out of a fantasy land, this natural phenomenon is caused by bioluminescent phytoplankton that emit a neon blue-green light when disturbed by the waves. Fortunately, the plankton are harmless, so it's safe to go in the water, but also make sure not to damage the delicate ecosystem. The ideal time to witness this magical spectacle is from spring to autumn, or May and June through October, when the plankton population is at its peak. To get there, just take a short speedboat ride from the Maldive capital of Malé. Panama City, Panama is the bridge between North and South America and the world, and it's your opportunity to witness the engineering marvel that is the Panama Canal, which took 75,000 workers 10 years to build. Panama City was founded in 1519 by Spanish conquistadors and was an important trade point for gold and silver. But today, it's a fascinating blend of old and new, filled with shopping, nightlife, food, casinos, and luxury skyscrapers. It's also the only capital city with its own rainforest, the Parque Natural Metropolitano. One of my favorite things to do there is explore the colorful Casco Viejo district, which dates back to 1673. There are some amazing restaurants there where you can enjoy local gastronomy day or night with outstanding views of the city. And when you're ready to explore farther afield, it's just a short trip to the San Blas Islands, the Anton Valley, and Fuerte San Lorenzo, which is one of the most well-preserved Spanish fortresses on the continent. It's also less than an hour away from beaches, such as Playa Coronado, a popular surfing and golfing destination. Star Wars fans and aspiring Jedi Knights alike will want to visit Tosser in the Tunisian desert to see the abandoned film set of Mos Espa, also known as the fictional planet of Tatooine. You may remember Mos Espa as the bustling desert town filled with different types of aliens from around the galaxy where Anakin Skywalker and his mother lived as slaves. And if you go, make sure to be prepared, bring plenty of water and supplies, or go with a local guide. There's a new road from the town of Nafta heading north, or you can hire a 4x4 and traipse across the desert. Visit soon, however, as Mos Espa is slowly being covered by sand from desert sandstorms. 
And bonus, nearby, you can stay the night in Luke Skywalker's childhood home at the Hotel City Driss, which is located in the village of Matmata, whose origins date back to 146 BC. The hotel is open year round with room rates starting at only $65 per night. Then continue your trip through the rest of Tunisia, a diverse country with an ancient culture and architecture and fabulous cuisine to experience. East of Tunisia, across the Mediterranean Sea, lies Petra, a famous lost city in Jordan that dates back to the 1st century BC, but wasn't rediscovered until the 1800s. The entrance to the original city gate to Petra is through the Al Sikh Canyon, a 1.2 kilometer long canyon with mysterious carvings on its walls. Walking along the dusty roads of Petra is an unforgettable experience. A once great metropolis and trading hub, there are more than 500 buildings surviving there today, spread across 2,500 acres. Often referred to as the Rose City due to the red-pink hue of its sandstones, it's no surprise that Petra is one of the seven new wonders of the world. Visiting there, you can see evidence of civilizations from thousands of years ago, including ornate tombs carved into the sandstone cliffs and temples built by the ancient Nabataean tribe. Nuke Greenland is unlike any other city in the world. Resting just below the Arctic Circle, it's the northernmost capital on the planet, with inhabitants dating back to 2400 BC. Currently home to around 18,000 people, it's also the location of the original Santa Claus mailbox that still receives letters at Christmas each year. Nuuk is a special destination for both culture and adventure travel. The surrounding waters are perfect for exploring by boat or kayak, and it's the location of the Nuuk Fjord, which is the second largest fjord system on Earth. Visit from spring into autumn for the best chances of seeing the humpback, mink whales, and belugas, and you can also see puffins on Puffin Island, just offshore. Nuuk is also a magnificent place to view the northern lights in winter, and it's somewhere you can dine at one of the most remote restaurants on the world, located about an hour away from Nuuk by boat. A fresher meal isn't possible, as you'll catch your dinner along the way. Bundle up though, as the temperatures in Nuuk are below freezing for at least six months per year. The small landlocked country of Nepal is a must-visit place for trekkers and adventure travelers alike, home to eight of the world's highest peaks, including Mount Everest. Nepal is a diverse country with a rich culture that has evolved over centuries. Its primary influences are the two main religions of Buddhism and Hinduism, although there are many ethnic, tribal, and social groups with 123 different languages. Make sure to spend some time in Kathmandu, the capital and largest city in the country, before getting out of town. Nepal has a varied landscape from the Himalayan mountains in the north to the lowlands and tropical jungles in the south. The scenic city of Pokhara is known as the gateway to the Himalayas and is also a jumping off point for trekking in the popular Annapurna region. In Nepal's Chitwan National Park, you may be able to spot rare animals, including Bengal tigers, elephants, rhinos, and a variety of birds. Although Nepal offers plenty of adventure sports, it's also a good place for a spiritual retreat where you can find many temples, meditation centers, and monasteries. A good time to visit is in the shoulder season of March and April, which offers slightly lower prices and good weather for trekking. April is also the time of the Nepali New Year. Nepal is also budget travel friendly, known as being one of the most affordable destinations in Asia. And it's an entryway to visiting neighboring Tibet. 
To the east of Nepal lies the tiny country of Bhutan, also known as the Land of the Thunder Dragon. The name comes from the intense thunderstorms that occur there in the Himalayas, whereas the dragon symbolizes enlightenment. Bhutan is one of the happiest countries in the world with a policy of gross national happiness that focuses on holistic well being, sustainable development, and cultural preservation. With 70% of the country covered by lush green forests, Bhutan is an excellent place for trekking. Popular routes there include the Snowman Trek and Druk Path Trek. The serene environment and peaceful surroundings also make it a perfect place for relaxation, wellness, and scenic photography. Don't miss the famous Tiger's Nest, a 17th century sacred Buddhist site that's built into the side of a cliff. According to legend, it became a holy place after an Indian Buddhist master spent more than three years meditating in a cave there. Back on the ground, you can also experience the culture of Bhutan through its unique food, with influences from Chinese, Tibetan, and Indian cuisine, including dumplings, stews, and butter tea. Traveling to Bhutan is an opportunity of a lifetime, but it'll also cost you to the tune of $200 to $250 per day in a minimum sustainable development fee. Tourism is limited each year, but you can apply for a Bhutan visa through a travel agency or tour provider. Vietnam is a captivating country with vibrant cities, friendly locals, and breathtaking natural beauty. Start your journey in the capital of Hanoi, a perfect jumping off point for immersing yourself in Vietnamese culture and for reaching other destinations throughout the country. Founded over 1,000 years ago, Hanoi has played an important role in shaping Vietnam's history, culture, and identity. In Hanoi, you can try Vietnam's famous variety of street foods, explore local markets, and appreciate the beautiful architecture, especially around the French Quarter and ancient temples. From Hanoi, you can take an overnight train to Sapa in the Tonkinese Alps. It's also a few hours drive from beaches, including Kat Ba and Ha Long Bay, which was voted one of the new seven wonders of nature. Ha Long Bay is home to thousands of small limestone islands, which are covered by lush green mountains and surrounded by emerald waters. Because of this, a majority of the people who live in Haolong Bay live in floating wooden houses. If time allows, head down to the cosmopolitan city of Ho Chi Minh in the south. Nearby, you'll also find Phu Quoc, one of the lesser known places in Vietnam, also known as the Pearl Island of Asia. Another unmissable destination in Vietnam is Hoi An, a former trading port that's regarded as one of the most beautiful places in the country. At night, the electricity in Hoi An's old town is turned off and replaced with traditional silk lanterns that light up the streets and shops. Somewhere I've always been fascinated with visiting but haven't been just yet is Patagonia, a vast region of Chile and Argentina which encompasses the southernmost tip of South America. Patagonia is regarded as one of the last true wild places on earth where you can hike glaciers and fjords while surrounded by stunning scenery. Chile's Torres del Paine National Park is popular among trekkers as well as Los Glaciares in Argentina, while the Perito Moreno Glacier is the most visited in all of Patagonia. But if hiking and camping aren't your thing, you can also kayak, cycle, take a tour, or join a local gaucho or cowboy for a horseback ride. There's also world-class fly fishing and you can relax in one of Chile's famous thermal baths and hot springs. Near Punta Arenas in Chile, you can also witness the Magellanic penguins, where up to 1 million pairs breed along the coast of Patagonia and more than 60 different colonies. When it comes to cuisine, Patagonia doesn't disappoint. 
Think slow cooked lamb stew paired with Malbec or Shiraz, fresh salmon and trout, and mate tea for energy. And of course, don't miss a trip to Tierra del Fuego or Ushuaia, which are known as the end of the world. If you love the movie Avatar, then you might want to add the Zhangjiajie National Forest Park to your bucket list. Located in China's Hunan province, Zhangjiajie is the oldest national park in the country. It's filled with thousands of towering sandstone pillars that rise from the forest floor and appear to float in the misty skies. These quartz pillars formed more than 300 million years ago, and today they're draped in lush green foliage and surrounded by waterfalls, lakes, caves, and exotic wildlife, especially monkeys. Some of the most famous scenic spots in this area include Tianzi Mountain and the Southern Sky Column, which was James Cameron's inspiration for the floating Hallelujah Mountain on Avatar's planet Pandora. Although this majestic forest appears remote, it's actually quite accessible and is open year-round. A ticket for four days is 277 Chinese yuan or about 40 US dollars. If you visit this special place, then take a ride on the Bailong Elevator, which translates to 100 Dragons Skylift. It's the tallest elevator in the world and can take you to the top of the peaks in less than two minutes. There's also a monorail with amazing views as well as one of the longest cable car rides in the world and one of the longest and highest glass bridges on the planet. Pamukkale, which means cotton castle in Turkish, is a small town home to some of the most spectacular natural wonders in the world. From its mineral-rich thermal waters to its awe-inspiring Pluto Gate, which is believed to be a portal to the underworld. A highlight of visiting Pamukkale is taking a dip in the semicircular terraced hot springs there that are surrounded by white calcium carbonate deposits. These pools have formed over thousands of years and are known for their healing properties. According to legend, even Cleopatra swam there. While you're in the area, also visit the nearby ruins of Aphrodisias and sit in the world's best preserved ancient stadium. One of my favorite corners in the world is certainly British Columbia, Canada. It has something for everyone, from the cosmopolitan cities of Vancouver and Victoria to the plethora of mountain ranges, lakes, hiking, and ski resorts. You can start your trip in Vancouver, a very picturesque and multicultural city that's sandwiched between the mountains and the sea. It's a food, culture, and nature lover's paradise filled with restaurants, shopping, breweries, markets, museums, and hiking. Make sure to take a walk through the historic districts of Yale Town and Gastown. Also check out the Coal Harbor Seawall and spend a day in Stanley Park, one of the largest urban parks in North America. From there, you can take a flight or a ferry to the secluded Vancouver Island, or you can rent a car and explore the countryside. Head north to Whistler on the famous Sea to Sky Highway, or east to Okanagan Valley, Fernie, or into Banff National Park. Cape Town, South Africa is one of the most loved cities in the world. From the buzzing city life to the beaches and the wine country, there's so much to explore. Enjoy the shopping and restaurants on the V&A waterfront, hike Table Mountain or take a cable car to get a view of the city, and visit Cape Point, where you'll feel like you're at the end of the world. Make sure to see the colorful houses of the Bow Cap District, which is also known for its art and cafe culture, and visit important sites to learn about the area's history and heritage. Walking tours are a good place to start, as well as the District 6 Museum, Robben Island, and the South African Jewish Museum. 
From Cape Town, there are plenty of world-class surfing beaches in the area. You can also hang out with penguins at Simons Town or Boulders Beach, or go on a safari in a nearby wildlife reserve. If you're into wine, head into wine country as South Africa produces some of the best wines in the world, with vineyards up to 300 years old. And due to the mild climate, Cape Town is a place you can visit year-round. Spanning 6.7 million square miles across eight countries, the Amazon is the largest tropical rainforest in the world, more than twice the size of India. It's estimated to be home to 10% of the wildlife species on Earth, including sloths, jaguars, ocelots, monkeys, bats, birds, snakes, and more, including the elusive Amazon River Dolphin. The Amazon also contains hundreds of thousands of different plant species, with many yet to be discovered, and it's home to 2 million indigenous people from 400 different tribes. The most popular gateways to reach the Amazon rainforest are from Manaus, Brazil, Peru, and Ecuador, but you can also get there from Colombia, Bolivia, Venezuela, Guyana, and Suriname. You can visit year-round during the rainy or the dry season. But sadly, an area the size of three football fields or five soccer pitches is deforested every minute in the Amazon in the name of agriculture, illegal logging, and mining. So if you go, make sure to visit responsibly through an ecotourism provider. It's thought that responsible ecotourism in the region can help create job opportunities that ultimately reduce deforestation. But you can also help protect the Amazon from home. Visit worldwildlife.org for more info. The vibrant capital city of Portugal, Lisbon is known for its charming neighborhoods, a lively atmosphere, and of course, incredible food. Explore the narrow streets of the Alfama, hang out at LX Factory, visit the Belém Tower, and enjoy panoramic views from the St. George Castle. I also like to spend a sunrise or sunset enjoying a view of the Tagus River. A short drive away, you can visit the beaches of Costa da Caparica, the fairy tale town of Sintra, known for its palaces and gardens, or take the train west to the pretty and quaint resort town of Cascais. Lisbon is your jumping off point to explore the rest of Portugal. Head south to the beaches of the Algarve or north through the Silver Coast to Porto. You can also catch local flights to the islands of Madeira and the Azores. Lisbon is a place to visit at any time of year, although summer is the most crowded. One of the most remarkable and awe-inspiring places in the world, Bolivia's salt flats are an unforgettable experience. Salar de Uyuni is the largest salt flat in the world, stretching for more than 4,000 square miles, around the same size as the big island of Hawaii. Depending on the time of year, sometimes a thin layer of water forms on top of the salt that makes it look like a mirror to the sky. It can be hard to get to, however, so it's recommended to go with a tour guide. But once you're there, you can stay in the world's first salt hotel. While in Bolivia, you'll also want to take the opportunity to visit the Amazon rainforest, also spend some time in La Paz, the world's highest capital city, and see Lake Titicaca, the world's highest lake. Ireland's Cliffs of Moher are one of the world's most captivating natural wonders. With jaw-dropping cliffs that stretch for 9 miles across the rugged Atlantic coast, they reach 700 feet high before plunging into the sea. The Cliffs of Moher hold significant cultural and historical importance, with remnants of ancient forts and castles nearby, such as Dungair, Dunagor, and the Moher Tower at Hagshead, a watchtower ruin from Napoleonic times. 
You can also visit the world-famous Bunratty Castle and Folk Park, one of the most complete fortresses in Ireland. The cliffs are also home to diverse wildlife, including puffins, dolphins, and basking sharks. They're even featured in films and literature, such as Harry Potter and The Princess Bride. Get an up-close and personal view by walking along the cliff walk, and remember to take plenty of photos. You can reach the cliffs of Moher by taking a car or tour from Galway, Ennis, Limerick, or Dublin. The Acropolis in Athens, Greece is undoubtedly one of the most famous archaeological sites in the world. Originally built as a home for Athena, the goddess of war and patron of Athens, its structures have withstood the test of time for more than 3,000 years. The name Acropolis means city on air, as it's built on the highest point in the city. Monuments you can visit there include the Propylaea, the Temple of Athena Nike, and the iconic marble Parthenon. The Acropolis is an embodiment of ancient Greek culture and civilization that you have to see. Buy your ticket online and arrive early to skip the line, and note that there are two entrances. You'll want to use the side entrance to avoid big crowds. You can also take in the views of Athens from the hills where the Acropolis is located at any time of day, but it's especially beautiful at sunset. China's Great Wall is a feat of human engineering, dating back more than 2,000 years and stretching some 13,000 miles along China's northern border. Originally built to protect from invasions, today it's one of the world's most popular tourist attractions, receiving more than 10 million visitors annually. Exploring the watchtowers and winding paths of the wall and taking in the panoramic views is certainly an unforgettable experience. But fortunately, some parts of the wall are easily reachable from Beijing by public transport or day tour but you can also decide to stay longer. In 1987, a man named William Lindsay became the first foreigner to traverse nearly 2,500 kilometers of the wall. In 2022, his two sons did the same, running more than 3,000 kilometers of the wall in 131 days. If you visit the Great Wall, note that Bottling is the most well-restored section of the wall, but it's also the busiest, especially among local tourists, as you can reach it by train from Beijing. Mui Tanyu is a less crowded choice, but you also have plenty of options to explore some of the more remote and wild portions of the wall, such as Jinshan Ling and Huanghua Sheng, where you can also hike and camp. Hong Kong is one of my favorite cities in the world, and it seems I'm not alone. It was once ranked one of the best cities by Time Out, especially for having good public transportation and for ease of making friends. Hong Kong stands out for being a global financial hub, but it's also great for food, shopping, entertainment, and nightlife. From noodles to dim sum to Michelin star meals, Hong Kong is a food lover's paradise. It's also a shopping mecca full of malls, markets, and high-end designer shops. By night, there's plenty of nightlife to be found, especially in the Lan Kwai Fong neighborhood, but I also enjoy an evening stroll through the Temple Street Night Market in Kowloon. And don't forget about nature. Hong Kong is surrounded by lush green mountains and islands, such as Chung Chow, Lama, and Lantau, which all offer great food, shopping, hiking, and relaxing beaches. You can also find moments of Zen at one of the many temples and monasteries throughout the region. And for the best view of the city, take the Peak Tram to Victoria Peak, the highest point in Hong Kong. I also recommend a visit to nearby Macau, the gambling capital of the world, which you can reach from Hong Kong in just one hour by ferry. 
Heading west, number five on our list is the Alps, the highest and largest mountain range in Europe that stretches from North Africa through France, Italy, Switzerland, Germany, Austria, Slovenia, and beyond. Humans have been living in this region since Paleolithic times, but today, an estimated 120 million people enjoy visiting here annually, which is beautiful during any time of year. In the summer, you can choose from over 80 things to do, from hiking, biking, and climbing, to swimming, yoga, and paragliding. In the winter, it's a world-class destination for all types of winter sports, after which you can relax and indulge a bit with some cheese and hot chocolate, or hit up the sauna. If money's no object, enjoy a luxurious retreat to exclusive destinations such as Courchevel in France, Gustat in Switzerland, or one of the many spa hotels in the Dolomites. Or travel on a budget to ski resorts in Austria, Italy, Germany, and Eastern Europe. According to the World Wildlife Federation, the Alps is one of the most biodiverse parts of Europe with 4,500 different types of plants and hundreds of different bird and animal species. Certainly a place to experience at least once in your lifetime. Down in the Indian Ocean, the enchanting island of Bali, Indonesia is one of the most beautiful places in the world. Also called the Island of the Gods and the Land of a Thousand Temples, it's known for its friendly locals, peaceful Hindu culture, and stunning landscapes, from the cliffs of the Bukit Peninsula to the plethora of beaches and the rice paddies of Ubud. While Bali has become more crowded in recent years, especially in the popular areas of Kuta, Seminyak, and Changu, you can still find secluded spots. Try the beaches of Karangasem on the eastern side of the island or North Bali where you can find waterfalls, temples, and hike Mount Bator Volcano. For surfing and diving off the beaten path, Nusa Penida and Nusa Limbongan are excellent options which you can reach by boat from Sonor. While Bali has become famous as a destination for wellness, yoga, and adventure travel that's filled with luxury resorts, the real magic of Bali is the people and culture. Throughout the year, you can witness dances, ceremonies, and celebrations and get to know the locals. A unique time to be there is during Nyepi, the annual day of silence, which marks the Balinese New Year. Bali is also a great base to explore farther afield, such as the Gili Islands, Lombok, and Sumbawa to the east. Off the coast of Ecuador, we encounter the Galapagos Islands, one of the most biodiverse points on the planet and the place that inspired Darwin's theory of evolution. Visiting the Galapagos offers an incomparable opportunity to see protected wildlife up close and personal, from the giant tortoises and marine iguanas to the Galapagos sea lions, penguins, and the blue-footed booby. You can see the animals from the comfort of a boat or dive right in to experience one of the best snorkeling and scuba sites on Earth. You can reach the Galapagos via daily flights from Quito or Guayaquil to Baltra Island or San Cristobal airports. From there, take a two-hour ferry to Isla Santa Cruz, and you can also do a liveaboard experience on a boat, which is available in different fare classes. Due to its location near the equator, the weather in Galapagos is consistent year-round, but no matter when you go, it's sure to be an experience of a lifetime. Remnants of one of the world's great civilizations, the Pyramids of Giza were built at least 4,500 years ago and are an engineering marvel that remains a mystery today. Just a single stone used to build one of the pyramids can weigh up to 70 tons. The Great Pyramid is the oldest of the three main structures on the Giza Plateau. It's the only remaining wonder of the ancient world that you can still visit today. 
but there's so much more to see in the complex, including eight other pyramids, the statue of the Sphinx, and multiple tombs, former burial sites for the pharaohs of the Old Kingdom and their families. At night, there's a sound and light show that helps bring the story and the history of the pyramids to life. It starts at 7.30 p.m. in summer and 6.30 in the winter. If you're passionate about history, culture, and ancient civilizations, visiting the pyramids of Giza is a must. You can even stay at a hotel with a view of the pyramids from your room. You can reach the Giza Plateau by car or bus from Giza or Cairo. It's possible to go alone or with a guide, and the entrance fee is less than $10, but there could be additional fees for entry into the pyramids themselves. Also while in Egypt, consider a visit to the Valley of the Kings near Luxor and the White Desert in Central Egypt, a national park full of large white chalk formations that make it look like you're on another planet. Venice, Italy, also known as the city of canals and the floating city, is unlike any other. Venice was built on millions of wooden stilts atop 120 small islands in the Venetian lagoon of northern Italy. Construction on the city started as early as the 5th century AD, which is why you can still see remnants of Byzantine, Gothic, and Renaissance architecture there today. As there are no roads, a network of nearly 200 canals and 400 bridges was created to allow movement throughout the city. And I have to say that gliding along the canals in a gondola is certainly a surreal experience. On land, head to the famous St. Mark's Square, the heart of Venice, for its basilica and bell tower, Campanile, which offers panoramic views of the city. Explore the shops and alleyways, peruse the Rialto market, and watch glass blowers display their craft. Also take an opportunity to visit one of the hundreds of art galleries, palaces, and museums throughout the city, and attend a classical music performance or opera. When you work up an appetite, suffice to say that you're in the right place, surrounded by some of the best food and wine in Italy. Local specialties include seafood dishes, risotto, and of course, plenty of pasta and gelato. Sadly, Venice is at risk of flooding, sinking, and sea level rise, but with its enchanting canals, historic architecture, and timeless charm, Venice is certainly a place to visit in your lifetime. Hi there, I'm Kristen. Thank you so much for spending time with me today as we traveled around the world. I hope that this video gave you a lot of ideas for places that you can travel in your lifetime. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up, consider subscribing, and over here I have even more videos for places where you can travel, live, or retire around the globe. Thanks again for being here and I'll see you in the next video.